It is December the 2nd, 2016. Time to recap our trading today in the markets that we do cover. We always start with the E-mini. Um, came in this morning wanting to sell 90 to 92. Second sell was 95, 97. The high was 97 and a quarter. We love our sell two points. Um, there was some trading in the E-mini today. Um, uh, it was uh, pretty slow going most of the day until we had this uh, move here and move there. And they were to the short side. And the uh, market profile, we talked about that um, uh, before lunch, uh, favored to sell uh, in the congestion area. So pretty good day, if I do say so myself. Looking at the F1 screen on the E-mini. Lower high, lower low, find a place to sell it come Monday. We have the Italian referendum on Sunday, so um, again, I'm not as uh, negative on our equity markets or the UK's or China's or Japan's or Singapore's or Hong Kong's as I would be on the EU if the um, um, current leadership is voted out. Uh, I d m most poll makers don't think that they will be voted out. Um, so we'll have to see how that happens. That's the next big piece of news. Okay, um, got our move out of the middle. We failed at 97 uh, today coming in. Um, haven't been able to break our 85 to 87 this morning. We had an 80 to 82 buy. I haven't gotten close to it. 85, 87 is where support is. Uh, the news on Monday is PMI services. Don't have a read on that. ISM services. Don't have a number for that. Labor market uh, conditions. Don't have a number for that. So we'll have to fill that in on Monday. So if the market were to close right here, right now, sell 93s, 95s, sell 1, sell 2, 98 to 20, 200. On the buy side, 84, 86. Then 80, 82. So basically trying to buy 85s to 80s and selling the um, 93 area and up. Bill Gross joined um, the chorus today and he's been selling, he, he was wrong into the election. And um, he was, I wouldn't put any great deal of credence into what him being right on uh, his call for the equity markets in the Trump rally. I, mean, I don't think anything would be hurt if the uh, stock markets pulled back a little bit. Um, I think that um, right now this a change in sentiment has people putting money in the market because they don't want to miss any more of the up move. I mean, they're optimistic about the future. And that, that, that's something that has changed. Um, since the since the election, have people that are willing now to jump up to the plate and make a bet as to the future and defer today's dollars for uh, tomorrow's dollars. Uh, higher low, higher high uh, on um, this screen. Favors higher prices on Monday. Don't know if we'll get it. And looking at our F2 screen, we have the gap right here. There'll be a limit sell at that point. There'll be limit sells right here. Usually it takes about a week to fill in the gap um, when they roll from one contract to the other. Uh, so um, right here we are, um, 19s to 23s, sell 1, 27 to 31, sell 2. Um, yeah, when you, if you look at the Bank of America report that was on Zero, zero Hedge, uh, I don't know if they're buying 2200s, but they sure are in there well, with both hands buying everything to get their hands on on uh, November the 9th. Uh, they're probably sitting back and watching it, uh, Fitz. Good point. Um, last rotate down stopped at 13, so 9 to 13 by 1. 
and 1 to 5 by 2. The big institutional players are always long, except for the hedge funds. And it's just how long are they and uh, what sectors are they in. And they, they play the sector game to get better relative uh, performance than their peers. And they're good at that. They don't, they're never measured on absolute performance. The mark is off 20%. And they're only off 19%. They're considered winners. Uh, on the hedge fund game, if you were uh, the market was off 20% and you were off 19%, you'd still be off 19% and you'd be a loser. It's a different ball game. Okay, looking at the uh, ZB, we'll fold it all together. Uh, last rotate up was 17, then 22, so we'll put 16 to 20 in number one. Um, 27, 31, cell one. 7 to 11, cell two. On the uh, buy side, M stopped at six, so four to eight, number one. 29 to 01, buy one. 17 to 21 by 2 gold End of the week short covering. Probably was the biggest dynamic that we dealt with. Higher low, higher high. Based on F1, it could trade higher on Monday. Definitely a P on the F2 screen. So we're selling 79s to 81s, 84 to 86. On the uh, buy side, last rotate stopped at 75, so 73, 75 by 1, and then 69, 71 by 2. It's a good contract for us. Crude. I would look for some uh, positive articles out. Uh, Jim Rogers came out and said, I think crude's going to 60 bucks if they get their deal. Sounds like uh, Goldman Sachs, doesn't it? Uh, but um, crude oil, inside day, but still pointed higher. I don't see any reason not to get to 52.50 anyway. It stops above the uh, current high. So this. F1 screen suggests a trading range on Monday, but uh, we will be subject to news. And resistance is 5175, 52, 5225, 5250 for sell two. On the buy side, um, I'm going to put 5125, 50. That's very, very aggressive. But I think we're going to have that article and then. Uh, 5075, 51 for buy two. Obviously, I'd like to get it done against 51. Better, but uh, And the euro, I'd like to sell against 107 London time. <clears throat> higher low, higher high. Uh, imagine if uh, the current Italian um, Office holders stay in power, that uh, the euro will rally a little bit, so, and it's certainly pointed up. So, first sell will be 107. 
725, sell two. On the buy side, um, 106.50 by one, and six and a quarter by two. That does it for this December 2nd, 2016. I will see you bright and early Monday morning. Y'all have a great weekend.